Carol Urban is an official at the U.S. Embassy in Santiago, stationed there for three years or so. Carol, good morning. How are you? What was it like? Good morning. Uh, we at the embassy are doing fine. It was almost, uh, I guess, five hours ago now. Uh, it was scary uh, and it was long, but, you know, Chile is in a seismic zone, and so the Chileans, as well as we Americans at the embassy, uh, are, are always somewhat prepared, but uh, this was certainly a, a surprise to us. Yeah, this was this large. bigger than much bigger than the average quake, certainly. Uh, do you have a sense of scope? Is there media? You, are you getting reports as to the casualty count and, and damage? Well, right now we're we're following uh, local media. They're just beginning to show us uh, images from Concepcion in in the south. Uh, they're reporting at this point 78 uh, Chilean casualties, t uh, dead. 78 Chilean dead. Uh, we at the embassy continue to actively uh, reach out to both official uh, Americans and unofficial uh, American residents here and, uh, and tourists, those who have registered with the embassy. And happily, we have no U.S. casualties to report at this point. That's good news. Now, we, we of course, having lived through Haiti, uh, all of our viewers wonder, you know, about the similarities, but it seems that, uh, you know, Chile is a much more prosperous country. They're, they're more prepared for this. Is that the case when it comes to emergency response? Yes, absolutely. And certainly the, uh, the newer buildings have been built to a, a stricter code uh, for this seismic zone. The embassy is in a, a relatively modern section of the city, a lot of high-rise buildings, office buildings, and uh, apartment buildings. And what we can see from the embassy is very little damage. Obviously, downtown buildings are older, and there, there's going to be some more damage. And the, the, the pictures coming in from Concepcion, Again, there are areas where there is uh, looks to be extensive damage. If there are folks here here in the states with uh, friends or family on vacation or living down there, how can they how can they make sure they're okay? Well, I, I would say the first thing to do is go to the State Department website www.state.gov. G O V. Uh, State Department is setting up a task force. There will be a phone number for uh, folks to call in if they are concerned about family and friends uh, here in, in Chile. Okay. Carol, we appreciate it. Stay safe and good luck. Uh, Thank you very much.